Mikey Garcia against Jesse Vargas. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez against Cal Yafai. Two really good fights. We've also got Murat Gassiev on the same card. We've also got Joseph Parker. Kiwi heavyweight. It's a great card, loads of talent. What isn't very interesting is Joseph Parker's opponent. Shaundell Winters. 39 years of age. Only had between 15 and 20 fights. He's lost two of them. One of which by stoppage. This is not a high caliber opponent. Now, I was kind of surprised to learn recently that Joseph Parker has not even had 30 professional fights. Mr. Winters will actually be his 29th. He has beaten Andy Ruiz, only the second guy to do so, become a WBO heavyweight champion, lost it against Anthony Joshua in a really big fight, and fought Dylan White in another really high profile heavyweight blockbuster, I guess you could say. So he's already had a bit of an active career and yet here he finds himself now, still only 28, fighting Shaundell Winters. He will have technically been out of the ring for eight months. And he will have been out of the ring for the best part of 20 months since his last real competitive fight against Dylan White, which he lost, which really, he fell asleep for many rounds. I think we can all agree. This kind of fight now really isn't deserving of where he should be. This is his third warm-up rebuilding fight in a career which is really starting to lose not just momentum, but focus. What does Joseph Parker want to do with the remainder of his career? This thought has been compounded by a theory of one of my viewers. I think he's Kiwi. And he put forward the theory that Pacific Islanders typically tend to peak early. Now, I don't necessarily subscribe to the idea that Joseph Parker is somehow past it physically. I think the problems are more on the inside, particularly mentally. And his team. But we know he is not getting rid of Kevin Barry. Now, this is the most obvious. Get rid of that trainer situation, which has been going on for years. You could see stagnation as early as Carlos Takam. I think, was it back in 2016? He still hasn't got rid of the guy and he is not getting rid of the guy because he's like family. Too much of a nice guy. Too much of a competitor and just natural athlete than the real animal that he needs to be. Is this is what's going on here? A lot of people have brought it up before. Parker doesn't really have the bigger dimensions as the giants of the division do, the top three guys. He needs that hustle. He needs to get down and dirty to make it happen in his career, to refine his style, to probably be a bit more of an attacker than a boxer. But it's very hard to see him making that transition, no less with Kevin Barry, who has surely taught him everything that he knows in all the years he's been with him. Now, one thing Parker hasn't had is an eye-catching KO win. We have been desperate for it as a Parker fan for years. But if we have to lower the level to the likes of a Shaundell Winters, we have got a problem. We know he was supposed to fight Derek Chisora. That didn't happen. He got bit by a spider. We all know the story. If Alexander Usak, who is scheduled to face Derek Chisora, just easily dominates him, 
Parker then can't go back to that, can he? It just seems like too much of a drop. But then again, he's fighting Sean Del Winters. Now, if he has to fight Sean Del Winters, as I said, to get that big KO victory, which we haven't seen since... I have to go really back. Because wasn't the fight against the guy before Leopai, wasn't it like a foul? And then Alexander Demetrenko, that was a foul as well, wasn't it? I have to go really far back to start to see some of that early potential that I saw with Parker when he was moving well, when we saw a certain fluidity and speed that spoke of heavyweight who had natural talent. I have to go really far back. If we have to reduce the level of fodder to the likes of, no disrespect to anyone who gets in the ring, a Sean Dell Winters, Parker, and Team Parker in general, have to really start questioning themselves. What are they doing in the ring? And do they really feel they can get back into title contention?